Hello, I'm Spade. We've got another set of competitive highlights here. For those of you that I'm following along, I started maybe nine months ago playing Counter-Strike Global Offensive and have decided to just become as good as I can get. And I've been chronicling my, pro uh, my progress. Most of it has been, at the beginning, it was a lot of deathmatch, just working on aim solely. And recently, I've started playing a lot more solo queue uh, matchmaking in order to get myself in the habit of not being carried. So I'm going to go ahead and talk through some of my thought processes here, which is a little different than previous uh, competitive highlights videos. You guys can let me know in the comments if you actually think it adds or if you'd rather just kind of watch me play. Right here, I know that he's picked up the bomb. I heard it. Obviously, he's flashed me out twice in order to try and keep me from chasing him. I know I have a teammate alive somewhere else on the map, although in this particular instance, he wasn't using his mic much, so I didn't get a whole lot of info out of him. But I figured that if I held hell here, uh, I would know that upper was safe, at least from heaven and outside. I also kind of take my time working my way through here because they knew I was hell, and so if I were them, I would have wanted to have somebody watching ramp. This is kind of interesting because these two guys kind of give themselves away. That guy shot at me, and this guy tosses a molly out of a out of a toxic for basically no reason. I mean, if he'd just sat quietly, he probably could have got me. But, you know, I'm not going to complain about that. I've played a lot of nuke as I've been solo queuing, and it's actually been fairly difficult. Some games I play really well and we lose. Uh, the rounds that these are coming from, uh, I dropped a 30 bomb and we still lost. This is just, it's ridiculous. that It took us, what, 15 seconds to get out of spawn? here and I left this round in because I thought it was interesting that I was able to get away with such a late start out of spawn and my horrible panic spray there clearly the guy who hopped out of squeaky was also panic spraying because there's no reason I should have survived that much less get a 2 or a 3k And I finally get dropped. On T side, I had a couple of good rounds. Uh, I had a few really impressive rounds with the op. This is uh, one of them here. Uh, there's kind of a... It was interesting. I got into sort of a mental state where I felt like I kind of knew, at least with the op, when to hold spots, when people would be showing up. I, I kind of had a sense of like, hey, I need to look in this direction because just the way my teammates have died or just my sense of how the the, the team has played so far, you know, the, the CTs were playing so far, where they'd be coming from. It was kind of neat. And in this case, it just worked out really well. So, for example, I know there's a guy out there somewhere. And then this last guy, I just have this feeling that I know he's going to come for me. I get just a touch impatient walking out there, but uh, it worked out for me anyway. And then I also solo queued, I threw in Seaside, because I've never played it competitively, and, and what the hell, right? Why not? Uh, it was actually a lot of fun, and it was an interesting exercise because uh, I didn't really know the map that well. There were a couple of times I got killed in that greenhouse at A-Site from spots that I didn't really know I could be killed from. Um, this was, this round was fun because it was an eco that we, it just kind of worked out. I don't know why I stared at that guy for like 13 seconds, uh, before I shot at him. Um, but, you know, I got a gun, and, uh, actually the rest of this round is kind of boring. We just sit around until, uh, until we win it. But, um, the, the interesting thing about playing Seaside was that I had to kind of play based on theory and and sort of gut sense uh, because I didn't know the map that well. I didn't really know that, you know, hey, I'm exposed to these angles here and not these angles here. There were several times I got kind of picked from mid or from one connector or another because I wasn't really aware of, you know, that you could see through this gap in the fence. For example, that fence right there is apparently uh, wallable, uh, which I didn't know. I didn't actually die from that, but I did learn that. And it was a lot of fun. And I've found that just 
playing the solo queue, uh, solo queue, learning to rely on myself more and not be carried by a team, I think has been really helpful for me. So I'll keep doing these updates as progress uh, continues. Spade out.